And we're back with more Asura's Wrath. More Yasha's Wrath. More Asura knocked out and unconscious. And okay, Asura's not in this episode, really. I mean, he's here, but he's not here, you know? Uh, he's off in La La Land. Actually, if this was an Islamic game, he'd be in La La Land. You know, I don't think people give you enough credit for your quick thinking. So, I give you applause. Thank, uh, thank you, friend. Uh. <laughs> oh, another flashback? Oh, come on. I we just saw this. We know what happened. God, I'm reminiscing about Asura yelling and being mad. You go forward. Nonetheless. So Yasha realizes that, you know, his Yasha. reason for so, even existing has been oh, without a purpose, meaningless and worthless, but Asura's worthless. cause is just and firm, and he, he was firm one that I will follow. He's, impossible yes. Impossible the yes. That is the power of our cause. Yes. Asura's cause is just. I will destroy multiple planets to save my daughter. And Give punch me- God in the face. Family comes first, but, I mean, who needs the power and all that? If you got no one to share with, it's like, Yo, it's like, what would you sell your daughter for? All the power in the world? No, honey. Because daddy loves you. Yeah. I will punch Mantra God in the face for you. I, I, I would fight God to be with you. I guess. Something romantic about that. Oh, that would be a really interesting story. I mean, if Asura Wrath hadn't already taken it. Yeah, well. We've got Christianity, we've got Shintoism, we've got uh, Islam, we've got a whole bunch of other religions we can use instead of these two, so. True. They must have snipped Get creative, people, come on. Open up a history book, I know it was boring in school, but, you know, come on. I mean, anyway, su- surprisingly, Asura's Wrath is all about becoming a good parent. Well, yeah. Asura would pay child support, and he would end up in, he would pay it by he could pay twice that, <laughs> and he wouldn't just visit on weekends, but on weekdays as well. <laughs> I'll drive her to school every morning. <laughs> People make fun of my little girl; they get blown into oblivion. I mean, a start talking to. Pumps so much iron, he gets like four extra arms, <laughs> and then pumps even more iron. <laughs> I mean, what would you be more afraid of—a dad polishing a shotgun or cracking six sets of knuckles? A shotgun polishing a dad. But, but, oh, uh, so your dad's a shotgun? America. <laughs> Yes, at this point, yes. <laughs> yeah, people love their guns so much they want to fuck them! <laughs> Bear children! <laughs> I think you just described Texas as what's happening. This is my son, his name's Colt. <laughs> oh god, you, you have no idea how, how much I can relate to that. <laughs> you have a son named Colt? Okay. Uh, well, no, it's just I n- knew a lady at the... The place I used to work at, her son's name is Cold. And she goes did he, hunting. Did, he have, did she have two cousins named Smith and Wesson? You know, I wouldn't be surprised. She was kind of an Outback Appalachia cracker. Oh, well. Alright, so I hate this chapter, because... Uh, yeah, you, you were telling I've, me about I've, this. I've, this is like the seventh try, I, I think. <laughs> Not, I mean... First time, I didn't have enough battle points. Second time, I didn't have enough synchronization rate. Third time, I didn't have battle enough points. Fourth time, I had even less battle points. And the fifth time, I missed up one of the quick time events. Say, well, that's that's a bust. And the seventh time, and here I am. So I gotta I gotta really hit these special attacks because part of them is that a lot of these enemies will just all of a sudden do a counterable move. And uh, I kept missing those, and that's why my health is so low, and that's really where you get a lot of your battle points, but you also got to do it quickly, too. Eek. 
It's cool to get to watch this, though, without having to watch for button prompts, though. Oh, energy Blast! Yeah! And that kills him. Nah, not really, but... And why didn't we do this before? He has, like, 10,000 like 10, powers. I think he's forgotten about 8,000 of them. He's like, oh yeah, I could do this! <laughs> oh. He's been along 12,000 years. He's had time to practice. True. Another turtle. Another turtle. I'm just glad it's not an elephant. And then an elephant appears. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> an elephant on top of the turtle. No, oh, no! Oh, God! So, like, all this, and the Goma is still fucking here. Because Chakra Varden's up there going, Ah, oh, why not? I'll it be fun if I just oh, is a turtle now. <laughs> I must do something about this fool. <laughs> Hold on, let me take the turtle, mix it with an elephant, and make a telephant. Go get him, my sons! <laughs> hey, uh, what do you get when you, uh, cross a helicopter at a rhinoceros? Hmm. Hell if I know. Ooh, that's good! God damn. That was one of my favorites from, like, <laughs> 15 years ago. <laughs> it's kind of like the stupid joke I learned recently. It's like, what's the difference between a Zippo and a Hippo? What? One's heavy, the other's a little lighter. <laughs> it's just silly, silly, stupid things like that. I thought you said a zipper. Oh no, a zippo and a hippo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's like, it's like, wait, wait, where's this going? Haha! -ha. <laughs> it's brilliant when I actually enunciate. Hey, enunciating is a great thing to do. What? I just love enunciating. Wait, yeah, these are the special attacks I'm talking about. Hmm. So have we seen Yasha take out a turtle yet? I haven't seen that move before. I don't. Th I don't think so. Most of what he's done has been the Burmaster guys. Okay. So not only is this Yasha finally taken on some Goma, well, I think he's taken on some Goma like once before too, but not quite like this. But um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wasn't that the last time he tried to take out Goma, he was falling from an airship or something like that. Yeah. He landed for a bit, took too long, and then Sergei killed everybody. Mm -hmm. But this, this is also Yasha's last hurrah. We spent a good portion of the game playing as Yasha, now this is the last episode that yeah, we're going to be playing as Yasha. Oh no. No, I'm, I'm thankful, really. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like playing as Yasha. He's yeah. too... Yeah, he doesn't I, hit hard enough. I can understand. It's like, hey, sorry, Uncle Yasha, but you, you just ain't doing it for me. Don't you want to play as the cool ranch to Asura's Nacho Cheese? So he's like, no, because I like to dip my nacho cheese in cheese dip, jalapeno cheddar and all that. You know, get a little spicier. I mean... And then, and then Dace is over here telling me, this is more to use chip dip. And I'm like, how dare you? You know, analogy ruined. And then Yasha gets chased down by all the Buddha statues. And it's just because, all I wanted were nachos! Dace, stop! And then Yasha finally uh, gets wind of our cause when he dips Cool Ranch into ranch dip or French onion dip, and he's like, there's something here. <laughs> and then he decides, you know what, chips are overrated, I'm gonna have a quesadilla. <laughs> I could have had a V8! <laughs> Alright, and... Stop and jump! Woo! I feel like it, that just killed nice all fast. the momentum right there. Hey, oh, that Ooh. was cool. Oh, oh, split that motherfucker in half. No, oh, he broke him like a walnut. Oh. It's right down the center. There is like, no... Like, how do you cut someone in half with your foot? Come on. So this is what happens when Yasha asks Mr. Turtle what's in the center of a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> He never made it without his spine. Ask Mr. Owl. I admit you are strong. Even August acknowledged your strength. But your body is unable to withstand the anger you carry inside you. 
He's too mad to live. That's really sad. No, mad. Oh, right. That's really awesome. There is only one thing left to do. Fuse. It's like, it's like what does this have to do with the uh, little Ziploc bags? That's glad, not mad. I, I want them both to fuse. That way, Asura has a better vessel to unleash anger. Hey, we can't go too DBZ on this, all right? Damn it! Well, actually, fuck. <laughs> we could Damn probably it. we could probably marionette uh, Asura's okay. body. Okay, think less fusion dance and more uh, sinking with nail. Oh no, shit! Did so. I call it? These are the ruins of the Mantra Fortress, and here's pretty much the crown jewel. The Arkenstone. The Infinity Jewel. Etc., etc. Take this. It is the heart of the car. So, like, what am I supposed to do with this? And, uh, this is something I completely forgot about. The Mantra Reactor. Boy, this is like, a 12,000 year old amiibos. Collect all the mantras now. Lust. So this explains all the mantra that they have. Vanity. And all right, so August is greed, and Wizen is violence. I think they got that backwards because August is all about the fight and fighting, and Wizen, all he cared about was just having big power. You know, kind of greedy of him. I can see that. I, I, I think they got that mixed up. I mean, everything, everything else makes sense. So yeah, he's a robot. Oh. I'm thinking, okay. man, could could he always do that? I give it to you. Could he always just open up his chest like that? Oh, Iron Man Four looks so cool. <laughs> so by his powers combined, he is Captain Asura. And well. I need to do a little. Oh, need to, oh, oh! It's, I tear oh, my heart out for you. Oh, 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 oh! Tearing it up by the strings, I can feel just ding, 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 ding. Oh, just ah, oh, ow, ah. Oh, at least we rescued Jill. So take all that mantra. This is probably about eight trillion souls. And we will just go ahead and focus that up and slam it right into his goddamn chest! Wake up, damn it! Boy, CPR back then was really intense. Why do you need 30 chest compressions when you can just do one big super powered <laughs> one? That way we don't kiss, that's gay. Bunch of homophobic gods. So Asura has now become, I guess, super general god, super general. <laughs> yeah, or, or I guess, we, I guess we won't know until the next episode. <laughs> oh, but what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say Asura's <laughs> heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> <laughs> maybe mantra wasn't that bad maybe be <laughs> maybe being a, 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 a grieving father isn't so bad after all <laughs> he brought back the toys for all the good girls and boys Asura save Christmas so countering those special attacks are what really get your battle points up and it is so good to finally get an S rank because seeing, you know, it being a, an A one time, a B the next time, and what the fuck, a C the next time? Come on! So, there's a little uh, peek into Mithra's subconscious again. I, I guess now we give a shit what she thinks. Eh, let's go back to home life, back when uh, things were peaceful. Asura's face. I ain't having this shit right now. No, he's got vegetables in his mouth. <laughs> I hate greens. So does Mithra, so he's like, I, Daddy, I hate broccoli. It's like, I will eat it for you then. <laughs> wow, she's taking advantage of her dad's I kindness. Will. 
<laughs> I will do this for you. Azura Wrath, Broccoli Murderer. <laughs> Next time on Azura's Wrath. Goku versus, I mean, it's Naruto versus Sasuke, I mean, Azura versus Yasha, <gasps> round three. Ooh, that looks like a fun fight. Oh, yes. Oh, no.